Well, good morning, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed a nice long winter break. I know it was nice to have a lot of time off after Christmas. I felt like I could really recover from the holidays this year. Let's go ahead and dive in. I want to discuss the Compare and Contrast Blue Ribbon Pathway. This is due this month. And be sure to have Study Island open already, so that way you can head over right after this video is finished and complete that blue ribbon. So what exactly do these words mean, compare and contrast? There are two differences, big differences between these words. When you compare something, you're only focusing on the similarities. What do the two things have in common? Are you comparing two characters? Are you comparing two pieces of fruit? Whatever you're comparing, you're only focusing on the similarities. On the other hand, when you're, when you're asked to contrast two things, those are the differences between two things, the differences between two vegetables, the difference between Easter and Christmas, things like that. So on one hand, when you compare, you're focusing on what's similar. On the other hand, when you contrast things, you're focusing on what's different. So be sure to remember the definition of those words, and that's really going to help you pass this blue ribbon um, pathway. So let's go ahead and try it out. We're going to compare and contrast Batman and Spider-Man. Hopefully you all have heard of these two um, characters. So let's go ahead and compare them. Now remember, when we're comparing, what are we focusing on? We're focusing on the similarities. So the first one is pretty obvious. They are both superheroes. Um, they can both fly in some sense of the word. They both have to use the tools for it, but they can both fly. Um, they're both really fast. As you can see, I'm entering the same information on both um, characters because we're comparing the similarities. These are what they have in common. Um, they both have a lot of great tools at their disposal to save people and fight all the bad guys, things like that. Now let's move over to contrasting these two characters. Remember, when we contrast, we're focusing on the difference between these two um, superheroes in our case. So obviously one of them, he dresses kind of like a bat. And the other one was bitten by a spider. So um, one of them, you know, made himself kind of, if that makes sense. Like he made his own tools after the bat in the bat cave and everything. And this guy, um, he didn't really have a choice. He was bitten by this radioactive spider and therefore is now a superhero. So there's a big difference between them. Um, this one has the Batmobile. This one gets around with his weird spider web wrist, you know, that thing, whatever that is. I don't know. So those are some differences between our characters. We've now outlined the similarities by comparing them and the differences by contrasting them. Remember, keep these words in mind. Compare, similar, contrast, different. And you can make a list even, you can outline your answers, um, especially if you ever have to write an essay or answer a question where you compare and contrast two things. Do this first and outline it, and that way you have in your head already, here's the similarities and here's the differences. So you're welcome to go ahead and head over to Study Island and complete this blue ribbon pathway now. Be sure all your blue ribbons are showing up complete. You have September, October, November, and then December, wait, November, December, and then the January set. So you have quite a few sets of blue ribbons to complete. Make sure they're all showing checked off. And if you have some low scores, say for instance, I'm sorry, my dogs are fighting in the background. Say for instance, you take this blue ribbon, you get a 20% the first time, but then the second time around, you score the 70% to pass it. Write your English teacher and say, hey, I scored a really low score the first time. Can you delete that for me? And that way, we only leave your high score and it shows that you passed. So good luck on this. Thanks for watching.